Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So guys, without wasting any time, let's enjoy the trailer first. Okay guys, I hope the trailer was absolutely stunning and today I'll show you guys that same thing in my tutorial and that is based on completely 3D tie flow. So without wasting any time, as I always say, let's get started. So guys, uh, first of all, after a long time, I'm back again with a pretty interesting 3D tutorial and this time this is completely based on advanced destruction. Okay, so let's not make any any time and let's get started. So first of all, what you have to do, I have just car and it's just a car, it's not rigged. So if you wish, you can uh, use a proper rigged car for this kind of tutorial and uh, then the output obviously, it will come a really good output. Okay, so basic idea is we have to animate this car. So I already done this before. So it's just a basic animation and what I did in the graph editor I just make these two keyframes and I make this graph editor. I'll show you how I have exactly done this before So the graph editor is just like this. So it means that the first when you play this like this See it's going suddenly very fast. So it's not look like very fast But when you play this see this movement is suddenly fast right uh, the animation is already done and uh, you guys can make it more precise as I told you before So first of all what you have to do is just have to make a wall so you can use a box because uh, It's a basic default. So let's zoom it and let's make a wall in this area Just like this you can make it by your own way. You can make it too much precise I'm just making it like this uh, guys make sure uh, the wall is uh, looks like a wall and uh, do not forget because this is a 3ds max so whenever you press f4 like this you can see this is a down obviously it's a downloaded model then this is a mesh view and this is a polygon view okay so this is the card and when I play this the card is see it's going through this wall okay cool uh, right now we have to use tie flow because the basic idea is all about tie flow so let's click the tie flow it's coming inside of standard primitives properties and then click tie flow and then just click anywhere like this okay so and then just go to the settings options and then open editor over there you guys can see this is a kind of a look like a 3ds max in build uh, particle system and uh, just i'm just make it a little small and then let's begin Okay, so first of all what we have to do we have to make this wall I, actually we have to convert this wall into the particle system and the make sure this car will be our collider and it will collide in this wall okay so uh, let's make a birth object just drag and drop it's completely look like same to same like 3ds max inbuilt particle system so if you are good in particle system I'm, I'm assured that you guys have no you guys will not have any issues when you are using this type flow in fact you guys can easily understand that why I am using this or that or something anything okay so this is a birth object and you guys can rename it from here like event one just rename it in anything so I'm just leave it like this then select the birth object so what is what is what is our birth object the birth object is that from which object the particle system will be generated okay see this box is right now our birth object then click this display uh, small dots and then click here like small dots to make it like a geometry so now just click here and change the colors like uh, like uh, anything like blue so right now what happened when you click this birth object then I'm just clicking like pick again and then just select your object and right click and just hide selection so right now what is visible here just go to the standard mode see this is a blue so the blue is our particle and we what what do we hide before the hide one is a real object 
Okay, so right now what is visible inside of this uh, area that is completely particle system. So this is a particle and let's make this particle a little more fractured. Okay, so for this fracture we will use the, this option where you can say where it is. Yeah, yeah, Veronic fracture. So just drag and drop inside of this birth object and display geometry inside. So now see it's by default it's already broken. So we make this points like uh, what you can say 1500. You can make it more or anything you guys can there is so many options like enable filter you can use anything like this and then we have our very own like timing veronic points and variation is like 100% variation it's good because there are so many variations then you guys can see see, see these are the things but this is completely bugged no, no issues it will not come properly then I'm just changing from here like performance mode see this is nothing visible here okay so uh, you guys can enable filtering and all uh, fracture color, anything there is so many options over there you can make this fracture even more better okay so that you have some seeds like uniqueness anything you guys can change it from him okay just I'm just leaving it like this and then just leave it okay so now what I have to do uh, we have to make this Veronic fracture like it should be like uh, fallen from uh, fallen on in this ground okay so what I have to do you have to use some physics shapes so by using that physics physics uh, shape you can uh, make it like animation so I'm just taking like physics uh, X shape just drag and drop here so when you put it here when you play this see it's already going down in fact it's already uh, going down for like it's already broken or something else so just go to first frame it's already going hang so i'm just going veronic fracture again and then what i have to do i'm just make this point like thousand pieces so it's not then it's it's uh, going really good then okay so and then when you play this see when you play the type flow will update everything see now it's already going fractured the but our basic idea is that when the car will hit this uh, wall then it will uh, break so just go to the first frame leave it like this and then we use after a physics shape we use this physics collision so just drag and drop so what we did we, we called type flow that first we or birth object then we uh, broken that object by using the veronic fracture after that the physics shape will uh, f make it like animation and then f physics collision uh, like sorry collision so what physics collision did when you add this uh, from here uh, like this pick object and like this one so now what happened this car when hit this wall it will collide with this so let's play this like this see it's already broken i know but when the car will hit this it will also affected by this car see it's going little little slow because i'm just pressing f4 so that the edges fetches are not visible because when edges fits are turned on it will make see now it's not going hang so much so see the car is hitting the wall and the car is already affected by the oh, uh, sorry the wall is affected by the car see it's already working but the major concern is the wall is already broken before hitting the car okay so you have to fix this so first of all what you have to do I'll just drag and make it out outside this window because we want to make this wall fractured by this car so what you have to do we have to use the surface test option drag and drop uh, below this Veronic fracture sorry and just replace it like Veronic fracture here and then just click pick and click this car so now what happened when the car will hit then it will break but make sure over the distance test option is right now uh, visible so I'm just make it like 10 centimeter so what we call tie flow is like when the car is far from this wall inside of 10 centimeters then the wall will be break by this car or it will start affecting by that car uh, before 10 centimeters okay so let's connect this one to this so now let's see what happened so when you play this see nothing is happening right now but let's make this color little change like select here from here to like geometry and then make this color like yellow so I'm just changing for performance mode to standard mode then you guys can understand and when you play this see it's nothing now see it's the yellow is coming so it means this is our 10 centimeters okay so right now this wall is it's started working okay but the same 10 centimeters is very very long so i'm just changing this surface test option and make it like a what you can say like two centimeters two centimeters is good enough and then when the car will coming inside of this wall area see it's coming almost 
clear and see now the area lock part is coming right now so when the card will hit this see it's completely breaking see it's cool right so right now what happened when the car will hit this ground as uh, this wall it will be breaking but if you wish you can make it more so you can use it like greater than or even less than but i can say less than is better so make it like when you press five centimeters so it will start breaking before and it will start breaking more you can use it more but make sure your animation should be more proper now see it's the five centimeters is better guys i think i think the five centimeters is better okay so this is almost looking really cool i hope you guys already loving this and if you are still not subscribed do subscribe my channel vfx world and thanks for love and support and i hope in future i will give you guys the more tutorials like this which will be the most interesting tutorials ever okay so uh, let's move okay so right now everything is going really good and uh, let's make this wall breaking effect a little more precise so what i'll do i'll use something related wall breaking and uh, let's use this physics bind and let's drag and drop this physics bind under this physics shape option so when you add this see something will happen see the wall is breaking like it's completely sticking so it's feel like the wall is completely breaking but it's not breaking too much by affected that car so what you have to do, let's zoom it back and make from here the performance to standard mode. Now you guys can understand it more prefer, uh, sorry, more precisely. And then what I'll do, now go down here. You guys can see there are so many options over there like point bind and everything is here. So we are using not anything like bind breaking option. So then on this a force option over there. So when you turn on this force option and see there's a thousand, uh, the visible is here. So when the it will hit this wall, now see it's feel like it's really hitting this wall in fact if you notice something there are some pieces are still now stick together so it means when the car will hit that uh, that wall by using this this value of force it will it will break but some pieces will not affect it too much with this card or by this force it will not break that much so that that's why it's already uh, sticking here see like this so now when you play this it's completely feel like this i can change it like uh, let's make it like 2000 uh, sorry 20000 so now the hitting property will more increased and let's see what happened now see it's wow it's really good so i just love this effect so now the main thing the wall is breaking but the pieces are really big in fact it's look like it's completely like a kiddish kind of a to the uh, sorry output so let's break this wall a little more okay so for this you have to make something little more advanced so this time the advanced distraction destruction will come okay so right now is everything is going good but when you play now see the wall is breaking i understand it's looking really good but the effect is not too good as we expect okay so what you have to do you have to make it more precise so for this i'm using this property test and just drag and drop under this physics collision object over there i'm changing this position x to velocity magnitude and from here the test true if the property is like greater or equal i'll explain it again but i'll explain this but the, it will take so much time so i'll make one more tutorial where i'll explain type flow in details that why i'm using these other tools but you guys if you if you guys have any ideas about like the particle system then you guys always understand let's make this values like what you can say like five okay so now i am let, let's make it little big and let's i'm using like veronic fracture again then the same physics shapes under this veronic fracture then physics collision like this and then what i'll do like double click on the veronic fracture make this points like what you can say 30 and the variation is like 25 it's leave it like this then select this physics collision object and then pick i'm just picking this car because the car will hit that wall and the wall will be hitting by that car okay so just connect this with by using this connection to this property test option so now i'm just changing this display small from small dots to geometry and then change this color to like what you can say like red one and when you play this i'm just changing the color to like this now see when you play nothing is happening nothing is happening but when the car is hitting the wall see now one 
two, three. Now see the red one is start visible. But see the red ones are really more like chunks, like small chunks. These are the chunks are hitting by the car more forcefully okay so you can change it randomly like if you wish you can like go to the property test over there you can change the value like uh, like two three ten i just make it like six just now see the when you increase this value the particle will mode going decrease okay so these other particles are pretty enough now when you play this see the red ones are right now coming really well okay guys so if you wish you can make it more okay so how the same policy you have to make a property test under this now go drag and drop this property test under this over the same velocity magnitude greater or equal let's make it like a two i'm just decreasing the value because i want a good output then the same thing veronic fracture and then physics shape and then physics collision then go to the veronic fracture and just leave it like 10 points because 10 points are really a uh, bigger amount because i am using this 10 points for that red uh, red fractures okay so then go to the collision object then just pick pick this car now i'm just changing from here to like geometry then just change this color to like what you can say like blue or like green green is good Okay, so uh, now I when I play this it will hit but I'm just changing to this performance mode because my system will then maybe getting stuck. Okay, so when you play this, see the first is hitting. Now see the already it's looking wow. The wall is going more. Okay, so in this way you can make it more chunks or you can make it more precise or more smaller smaller chunks by using this veronic fracture now connect this to hit now see what happened when you connect it the fracture department will more increase and now see it's already calculating here like frame by frame it's 92 percent 93 and when the framing calculation is completely done the fracture process will getting more increased and it will see more fractures now see it's completely look really awesome so now in this scene you guys already have so much detailed fractured particles or you can, can say fractured wall okay so i know guys this method is only applicable when you have any kind of a cool system but yes you can make it for your own reel by using like smaller amounts or smaller fracture in my that video which you are right now seeing in the screen on your screen uh, in this video i'm using uh, like 3000 particles for veronic fracture and uh, five more uh, sub particle system for break it more so by using this policy you guys can destruct anything or destroy anything by using any object not you have to use any kind of car or any kind of rigged car just try it in your home make it your own make it on your own reel and just surprise everyone okay guys i hope this tutorial is absolutely rocking and you guys learned a lot today and if yes don't forget to then hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for the further notifications and yes i'll see you in my next tutorial which is also based on tie flow but this is not this kind of tutorial this will be a something different but the more interesting one okay then i will see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy and bye bye